Whenever an individual or a business decides that success has been attained, progress stops. I'm no genius. I'm smart in spots and I stay around those spots. You don't hear things that are bad about your company unless you ask. It is easy to hear good tidings, but you have to scratch to get the bad news. I think there is a world market for maybe five computers. Failure is a teacher, a harsh one, but the best. I was asked if I was going to fire an employee who made a mistake that cost the company $600,000. No, I replied, I just spent $600,000 training him. Why would I want somebody to hire his experience? All the problems of the world could be settled easily if men were only willing to think. The trouble is that men very often resort to all sorts of devices in order not to think because thinking is such hard work. If we do not take advantage of our opportunities, it was courage, faith, endurance, and a dogged determination to surmount all obstacles that built this bridge. You cannot stay in one place, you either go forward or you go backward. The best way to supervise your men is from their reports that they make out. Treat each case as an individual case, and give every man an opportunity to earn just as much money as he is capable of earning. If you aren't playing well, the game isn't as much fun. When that happens I tell myself just to go out and play as I did when I was a kid. If you want to succeed, double your failure rate. The great accomplishments of man have resulted from the transmission of ideas and enthusiasm. Really big people are, above everything else, courteous, considerate and generous, not just to some people in some circumstances, but to everyone all the time. Every time we've moved ahead in IBM, it was because someone was willing to take a chance, put his head on the block, and try something new. If you want to achieve excellence, you can get there today. As of this second, quit doing less than excellent work. Design must reflect the practical and aesthetic in business but above all, good design must primarily serve people. Would you like me to give you a formula for success? It's quite simple, really. Double your rate of failure. Your thinking of failure is the enemy of success. But it isn't at all, you can be discouraged by failure, or you can learn from it. So go ahead and make mistakes. Make all you can. Because remember that's where you'll find success. On the far side of failure. Man has made some machines that can answer questions provided the facts are profusely stored in them, but we will never be able to make a machine that will ask questions. The ability to ask the right question is more than half the battle of finding the answer. Nothing so conclusively proves a man's ability to lead others as what he does from day to day to lead himself. As I associated with more and more different types, I realized that to make it, you had to get along with almost everybody. If you dislike the people you work with, you'd better not show it. I learned that to be a good leader, I had to strike a delicate balance. Wisdom is the power to put our time and our knowledge to the proper use. A manager is an assistant to his men. God cannot deny a praying soul.
Once an organization loses its spirit of pioneering and rests on its early work, its progress stops. The toughest thing about the power of trust is that it's very difficult to build and very easy to destroy. The essence of trust building is to emphasize the similarities between you and the customer. None of us can hope to get anywhere without character, moral courage and the spiritual strength to accept responsibility. If you stand up and be counted, from time to time you may get yourself knocked down. But remember this, a man flattened by an opponent can get up again. A man flattened by conformity stays down for good. Follow the path of the unsafe, independent thinker. Expose your ideas to the dangers of controversy. Speak your mind and fear less the label of crackpot than the stigma of conformity. And on issues that seem important to you, stand up and be counted at any cost. Don't make friends who are comfortable to be with. Make friends who will force you to lever yourself up. Solve it. Solve it quickly, solve it right or wrong. If you solve it wrong, it will come back and slap you in the face, and then you can solve it right. Lying dead in the water and doing nothing is a comfortable alternative because it is without risk, but it is an absolutely fatal way to manage a business. To be successful, you have to have your heart in your business and your business in your heart.